What's happening out there, gym owners? Today's truck talk is actually happening in the office. As uh, tomorrow, well, tonight I'm traveling to Orlando to visit some friends and uh, won't be uh, available tomorrow at all to do my truck talk. So I want to talk a little bit today and pre record this. So I had something nice for you guys tomorrow. I know how much everybody looks forward to seeing my beautiful face cruising in the truck on the beautiful streets of New Jersey. So here we go. So the last couple of weeks I've been shitting on, you know, how, you know, all this stuff about funnels and and things like that is a bunch of bullshit, right? Like, you know, you know that will never replace real relationships, real people, uh, and true intent. However, it's really important in today's world, marketing is becoming so tech-centric that you do have your your funnel in a sense set up correctly right and that so that you at least get the opportunity to help people and get them into your gym um so that you can showcase your your great service and, and training and such and have more opportunity to you know attract clients right so you know kind of doing it the right way is still important right so even though you know you got to have that that base of commitment culture and and, and building relationships but in today's world, it's very, very hard to compete with someone who has their um, marketing really dialed in, um, uh, who's also a very good gym, right? So if you're competing in the same town with another good gym who's marketing very well um, and they're doing a great job, you're going to have a tough time keeping pace if you're not marketing well, right? And all you're doing is delivering a great service and a great experience, okay? So here's kind of the tiers of the funnel, right? Top of the funnel, right? <laughs> That's called brand awareness, you know, kind of getting people to know what you're doing, who you are. That's when it comes to your mission, your core values, your USP, your unique selling position, right? Who are you? Who do you serve? How do you help? What problems do you solve, right? Constantly making people aware of those things. You know, at Varsity House, we help youth athletes age 11 through college and adult individuals age 40 plus get in the best shape of their lives, become unstoppable, lose fat, have more energy, improve performance, increase strength without wasting valuable time in the gym trying to navigate their fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle changes by themselves. Boom, right? And 500 ver variations of that. How I can help a 40 plus individual. How we can improve speed in one of our athletes, right? All of those things. Constant awareness. That's the top of the funnel. That gets people attracted to your brand and seeing, hey, these guys look like they know their shit, right? Next thing is, we next, next stage, we'll call this the, you know, top third of the funnel. It's called showing the value. And giving people, you know, I, I usually say that this, this is done through a lot of, uh, um, you know, emails and things like that, right? Because now I can provide, you know, valuable information, you know, tips on training, uh, videos from the gym and things like that. I, uh, social media, guys, I'm telling you, it's not the only thing. You have to increase your, your tree and kind of branch out your marketing. So value comes from giving people something that they can turn into use, right? So whether it's, you know, a vacation workout, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, 10 new, 10 tips, you know, low calorie holiday drinks, whatever it might be, but constantly providing value to your, to your community, right? Once you get them aware and you capture their email, right? And then you give them information. Now lead next step is lead marketing. Now we're getting towards the bottom of the funnel. Now this is where you're actually, uh, you know, capturing emails for a product or a service or whatever, like, you know, apply for your free training session download our free fat loss guide right things like that right really important there like we we've recently we've been using our vacation workout as a lead magnet because it's summertime right and we've been getting tons of people opting into that lead magnet um because you know a lot of people are going on vacation they want to they want a good workout to do in their hotel and stuff like that so we you know put a couple of different lead magnets on our uh, on our website right and then lastly, it's it's having a memorable experience, right? Making sure that they, you know, once you do get them in, that you deliver the goods, that you give them an awesome experience, and then they enjoy, you know, uh, uh, training with you, being with you, your community, and things like that, right? So, like, brand awareness, website visits, social media, things like that, right? Showing the value, that turns a visitor into a real lead. That means that they've commented on something, they maybe called the gym, they... They, they emailed you or whatever, right? You get the next stage, you make a sale, right? You attracted a lead, you gave them an opportunity to buy something, they 
in a sense, took the bait, right, and, and bought a trial session or a free session or, you know, a, a free assessment or they came to a, 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 a open workout, open gym workout, whatever it might be. And then, you know, if you deliver that memorable experience, right, that's called loyalty building and that's like, you know, building your lifelong clients. That's retention, rewards, and having a, a system for consistently, you know, providing your um, your your community with great service, value, and training, right? Now, once you set up your funnel, there's lots of ways to go about this, right? The, yes, social media plays a part of it. And, and yes, you can use automated softwares like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, and such. ClickFunnels is another great way to um, funnel people to a specific landing page designed for sales for, say, something like a six-week transformation or a slim-down program or something like that, right? Um, using Stripe, Shopify, in lieu of a lot of these bulky um, POS systems that a lot of gyms use that are great for client management, they're not great for online sales. So, like, example, MindBody is a great client management software that we've been using for years in-house. It's not really great for selling product online. So if you want to sell a six-week transformation and make it super easy for someone to just click and buy, sending them to a link for MindBody where they have to create an account and all this stuff and stuff, that's not an easy way to do it, right? So by linking Stripe up to active campaign i can automate that process and make it really really simple and streamline or or setting it up with um click follows is another way so um that that's that's you know it's still necess- necessary so again number one on my list is always people 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 hire great people you know attract great people constantly try to um improve the people side of your skills right connecting communicating helping mentoring leading right number one after that, you got to turn into yourself into a marketer, right? You can take all you can take all the years of college that you have and all the years that you've worked your butt off studying the X's and O's of strength and conditioning and throw them in the garbage, right? Because if you don't get people in the gym, you don't got nobody to train, so you don't have to worry about that, right? So, so learn how to market, learn how to get your mind right, right, and uh, and grow your gym the right way by by being a real businessman, a real true entrepreneur, and a strength entrepreneur. Uh, if you guys are interested in coming out here to Varsity House this fall, we have another amazing two-day business of strength mentorship that's going on in September, and that's going to be September uh, 26th and 27th. That's a Thursday and Friday. We do it on Thursday and Friday because uh, we want people to come to the gym while it's live and in live action, and you can sit in on our groups, take a class, you know, and see the gym working in full effect, right? So that's Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th two-day mentorship uh we'd love to see you meet you help you grow your gym help you work through your problems and if you really want to you know go crazy that weekend jim jones is coming to town on saturday and sunday the 28th and 29th you can come to business of strength get your edu- get your gym education on and then stay for a two-day uh a level one seminar with uh the jim jones crew and, and myself and we'll be having a lot of fun that weekend so uh, if you have any questions dm me shoot me an email hit me up here on the gram and uh, i'd love to connect with you Take care, gang.